back to my channel. I know it has been a long ass time since I last uploaded a video and I don't really have an excuse for that other than the fact that I've just been hella lazy and just couldn't be bothered but um today we're here and we're gonna attempt to film a video will the internet ever see this i don't know so as you can probably tell by the title today i'm gonna be eating only the cheapest food in the grocery store so i shopped at woolworths i kind of compared prices online between woolworths and coles and woolworths was cheaper i know that aldi is cheaper than woolworths again but i wanted to do a separate video on that because i actually freaking froth aldi and i'm all about saving money these days that's one thing that's changed since i filmed my last video i'm actually like pretty good at saving and budgeting is like my jam and i might do a whole separate video on how i budget and what not but for today we're just going to be talking about eating the cheapest food in the grocery store seeing how it is i've probably i think judging from what i've bought i've eaten nearly all of it before but we're going to see how we go eating just the cheapest foods for one whole day also please excuse my face i have no makeup on because i have an eyelash appointment at 11 30 but that doesn't matter because this is a, a video about food so who really cares what my face looks like so i went on to woolworths online and made myself a list before i went in so i knew exactly what i was looking for and exactly how much i was going to spend and i set myself a limit of ten dollars to feed myself for the entire day and i think i spent ten dollars and like 36 cents or something and i think some of that was for the bag because i forgot to take my own reusable bag to the shopping center with me so i have my receipt here and my total was 10.70 that included the bag so it must have come to about 10 what is 70 minus 15 cents i'm literally so bad at math i don't know it came to just over 10 dollars there is the total so I'm just going to get started by showing you guys what I got and separating everything into what meals I'm going to eat it for. I haven't had breakfast yet, so we're going to make breakfast now as well once we do this. Scratch that. Future Sarah, that was dumb. You shouldn't have said that yet, you fucking idiot. So I'm just going to start by going through everything that I bought, showing you guys what I got and separating it into the meals for the day. Everything that I got includes a full breakfast, a lunch, a dinner two snacks and a drink. So I think I did pretty well for $10. Let's do a little grocery haul, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I got is obviously for my breakfast and for breakfast today, we're gonna be having toast with spaghetti. So I got this bread here, which is the Essentials white sandwich bread and this was only $1.30, which what the heck? Next thing we have is just a can of spaghetti in tomato sauce and this was 65 cents. So that means my total for breakfast is only $1.95, but obviously you would get more than one meal out of the loaf of bread and you could probably do two meals out of the spaghetti. I'm not gonna eat the whole tin. I'm probably gonna only gonna eat half. So if you were having that over two days, it's only 97 cents a serving. And again, like you're still gonna get bread after that. So super cheap meal. We'll see how it goes in a little bit. The next thing we got is a snack and I just grabbed this little banana yogurt pouch. I'm pretty sure these are for children, but I actually love these anyway. Yeah, this yogurt pouch was only 75 cents and this will be my morning tea. Before we go any further, I just wanna say that obviously this is by no means um, gonna be a health kick day. Most of this food's not really what I would consider healthy, but we are just trying to eat the cheapest food we can and seeing how it goes. So. Not really that concerned about my calorie intake today. It's just one day, it's for a video, so I'm not really that concerned is my point. For lunch, we just have something pretty basic. We just have a single meat pie, and I didn't actually know that you could buy these um, singularly, singularly, singularly. I didn't know you could buy these on their own, <laughs> like with just one. So this was only 75 cents, and a meat pie is plenty to fill me up for lunch. I don't really need more food than that, especially with the snacks and stuff that I bought, so it should be... Should be all good. I did get a drink as well to have with my lunch and dinner. So this is just the Woolworths brand um, lemonade, but I got the zero sugar version. And this is only 90 cents and I've actually had this before and I really like it. For our snack for afternoon tea, I'm actually like low key so excited about this because I used to eat these all the time when I was little. But we have the Woolworths brand um, vanilla wafer biscuits. And I don't know if you guys used to eat these when you were little. I haven't had them for years i maybe like steal my little sisters when i go to mum's if she's eating them but i've never actually bought a packet so i did not know that these are only 57 cents 57 cents for this whole last packet it says that there's like seven servings obviously i'm probably going to eat the whole thing in one sitting but 57 cents for some wafers like i am excited for afternoon tea to say the least moving on to dinner we are gonna have some pasta for dinner so i grabbed all the ingredients first off we just have this penne is that how you say it is it penne or penny penny penne and this was only 
65 cents for the whole bag, which is a bargain. Is it gonna be the best quality pasta I've ever eaten in my life? Probably not, but I feel like pasta's pasta. I feel like I always buy the cheapest one anyways, so I don't think it's really gonna be that bad. And then obviously I grabbed a pasta sauce. This is just a Italian tomato passata. Pas passata, passata. Should rename this video Sarah trying to pronounce freaking food names for 20 minutes. And this was $1.50. So I'm gonna have that with the pasta. And then because I, you know, I still had money left in my budget. I still wasn't at $10 yet. So I was like, I can get a little bit wild for dinner. So I also got some Parmesan cheese to top it off. And this was $1.60. And this is a whole last bag. And I just wanna point out too that with dinner, this would obviously make way more than one day's worth. So the serving price is gonna come out really low, I think, once I add it up. And then you can't really have pasta without garlic bread. <laughs> this garlic bread's only $1.90 and you get two, two garlic breads in it. I don't even care if it tastes like shit. I feel like there's no such thing as bad garlic bread. So my overall total for dinner is $5.55 for all the ingredients. But like I said, you would get so many meals out of this. Like if you sectioned up the garlic bread, you cooked it all and like put it in the fridge and shit. I reckon you could get at least four meals out of this, which only comes to $1.38 a serving, which shit like that just gets me so excited. Like dinner for $1.38, like that is, that is cheap. Okay, so I'm gonna start making myself breakfast. And if you remember from the first clip for breakfast, we are having tin spaghetti and toast. <laughs> Here it is, just the spaghetti on toast. Um, I did use butter because I didn't think to include butter, but I feel like most people already have at least a scrape of margarine left in their fridge at home, so I wanted to include that. So yeah, let's try our breakfast. I'd love to give you guys a shot where you can see my plate as well, but you guys are currently resting on my tripod, which is on top of a microwave stand, whatever a microwave stand is. So yeah, my um, this is a full budget production, budget food, budget camera setup. Not bad, it just tastes like canned spaghetti. Whatever you think canned spaghetti tastes like, this is it. I probably could have warmed it up for a bit longer, to be honest. <laughs> and we are done. That was a perfectly good breakfast and I still have about half the can of spaghetti left in this container. So like I said, you could definitely do more than one meal with this one and with dinner which just makes it even more affordable. I'm still like blown away that it's only gonna cost me $10 to eat today. I literally spent $30 on food yesterday. So this is a nice change. All right, I'm gonna go get organized for my appointment later and I will come back when it is snack time. Three hours later. Okay, I'm back from running all my errands and stuff like that. So it is time for me to have lunch now. I didn't have time to have morning tea, so I might eat that while my pie cooks. So. We're just having this 75 cent meat pie, Australian meat, crispy golden pastry packed with meat, not MSG. Tender meat in rich gravy, flaky, buttery crust, it reckons. So we will see about that. So the way that I normally cook my pies is I just zap them in the microwave for like a couple minutes to get them heated through the inside. And then I put it in my air fryer to get the outside really nice and crispy. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is a joke. Um, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> what do you mean? All the pastry's fallen off the top of my pie. It's like all in the bag. What the freak? Why is it? Oh. <laughs> okay, so, this is what my pie looks like. <laughs> We only have probably a quarter of the pastry left. The rest is on the plate. I don't know, I'm gonna just 
sprinkle it on top and hope for the best, I guess. 75 cents, like I can't really complain. Like maybe I did that. Maybe I dropped it or something, like putting it in the fridge. Let's just um, zap this in the microwave and see how we go. <laughs> okay, so obviously my pie is not looking too good at this point, but like I'm sure it's still gonna taste fine. Wait for it to finish in the microwave, then we'll put it over into the air fryer and then I will give it a go. I'm also gonna have a cup of my lemonade with my lunch, so we'll see how that goes. Um, actually, while we're waiting for the pie to cook, we'll try this banana yogurt. It's taste tested by kids. Yeah, let's give this a go. I mean, it's only 61 calories, but it's also tiny. I actually really like these like kids squeezy tubes for on the go because like, you don't need to take a spoon. Yum. I actually love, <laughs> love banana yogurt though. And I actually like these. I'm pretty sure it's this brand that I've tried, but like for 75 cents, I can't really complain. I mean, I feel like there was literally like three tablespoons worth in there, but it is for kids. So I liked it. I might actually go buy more of these for work because this was actually really, really tasty. I just realized you guys could probably hear the microwave in that whole last thing where I was eating the yogurt, so sorry about that. But um, now we're going to put the pie into the air fryer and see how we go. Oh, it's really freaking hot already. I probably shouldn't have put it in for so long. Ha! <laughs> huh. <laughs> so that was kind of a fail because the pastry... <laughs> was like not attached at the top. It was just flying around in the air fryer. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like it's an air fryer. I guess I've never put anything as light as like little bits of pastry in it to cook before. So we're just gonna have to miss out on that bit of pastry and deal with it, I guess. Okay, so we're just gonna do five minutes in the air fryer just to get the outside kind of crispy. I can still hear bits of pastry like flying around in there. I'm gonna have to Please hold. So I'm just gonna wait for the five minutes for my pie to get kind of crunchy and then I will eat it. Another thing that I thought of that I didn't buy and account for is sauce to have with my pie. But again, I feel like sauce is something that everyone just kind of already has in the house. So I'm gonna have sauce and yeah, I'll see you guys when my pie is ready. Hopefully it doesn't like blow up in the air fryer because it's still making such a weird sound. <laughs> those little flakes of pastry that fell off before so let's go sit down and eat and see how it is and yes i have barbecue sauce on my pies only when i'm at home if i'm out and about and i get a pie i get tomato sauce i don't know why just the way my brain works okay, i'm gonna try the lemonade first which i'm pretty sure i've had this before and it's good so yep that's lemonade it's actually quite nice could definitely have been in the fridge for longer though it's definitely not cold cold it'll probably be a lot nicer when i have it later at dinner time when it's like cold i might add some ice you know spice things up so as i was saying my pie looks a lot better now that it's been cooked like you can't really tell that half of the pastry fell off but um yeah this is the size of it in comparison to my head in case anyone was wondering so yeah i'm just gonna get eating now I'll probably watch some youtube while i eat which is what i normally do when i have lunch and yeah does anyone else eat their meat pies by like cutting off the top eating the top putting sauce in the middle and then eating the middle if i'm out and about obviously i'll just like into a pie but um when i'm at home i always cut the top off and you know what i'm having some trouble cutting the top off this pie there we go i feel like i can't be the only one that eats pies this way it's actually really crunchy i don't know if that's just the way the pie is made or because of the way that i cook my pies but i mean it's no mrs max pie but it's better than a 7-Eleven pie. Done and dusted. Overall thoughts on the pie was actually so good. Um, for 75 cents, I really can't complain that some of the pastry had fallen off before I even got a chance to cook it. And once it was cooked, I actually could not even tell. For 75 cents, you really can't go wrong. That was a good meat pie. I would eat it again. I would recommend it to my friends. I give the pie a 7 out of 10. Oh my god, I forgot to rate my breakfast. My breakfast, the toast and spaghetti. I'm going to give it like a 6 out of 10 because it's 
white bread and spaghetti like it's nothing too special but that pie was like special it was something about it it was just it was really good you guys 75 cents of Woolies like definitely go get that shit 75 cents like what's what's the worst that can happen you don't like it you know just take a risk try a 75 cent pie I actually have to be somewhere really really soon so I'm gonna try the wafers now this has kind of turned into like a lunch mukbang which is funny because one of my friends Kate suggested that I should just eat it all at once as a mukbang instead of doing it like throughout the whole day which is pretty much what this lunchtime thing has turned into so I'm gonna go grab the wafers and we're gonna give them a try okay so these are the wafers they're just vanilla flavored they did have chocolate and strawberry as well I really wish that they had a um a mixed packet so I could have tried them all but let's let's give it a go I feel like it kind of doesn't taste like anything I mean, it's got like a hint of vanilla, but nothing over the top. But like these were literally 57 cents for the whole packet and they're nice. Yeah, no, they were really good. I feel like the chocolate would probably be better because vanilla, now that I think about it, most vanilla flavored things really don't have that much flavor. But they're a good little snack. They were tasty. I would eat them again. And for 57 cents, like, why would you not eat them again, you know? So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with those. I'm going to give them like... A six and a half out of ten. Yeah, that's me done for the afternoon. It is now nearly three o'clock, so I had a really late lunch. Um, at three forty-five, I have to go to my football club oval for a presentation thing because we want a car. How good is that? Um, and then I'll come back, make dinner. I probably won't have dinner until really late tonight, actually, because we have our first. It's our first night of multi sports. It's like at the indoor sports stadium. We have like a team and it's a different sport each week. We have that for the first time tonight. So I'll probably make dinner when we get back from multi sports. So it's gonna be late and I'm gonna be lazy and I'm gonna not wanna cook, but I'm gonna do it because I'm committed to this. Um, is it a challenge? I feel like this isn't even really a challenge. Like I haven't had to eat anything disgusting. It hasn't been hard. I've just kind of been at home all day where all the food is. Like it's, it's definitely not the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, you know? We'll see. I'll see you guys a little bit later on. Okay, so we're on to our final meal of the day, which is the pasta, the pasta sauce, the garlic bread, and the Parmesan cheese. So just getting everything ready. I've got the oven preheating. About to put in the garlic bread. Um, this is what it looks like. It doesn't come wrapped in foil, so I'm gonna do that now. on the stove the garlic bread's in the oven so i will come back once everything's ready to be merged together to make a meal i guess actually can't stop eating these wafers i've been snacking on them all day they're actually delicious <laughs> okay so dinner is ready this is how it looks if you think that's a lot of parmesan it's because it is i'm a bit of a weirdo and i freaking love parmesan so i'm gonna sit down and eat and i'll let you guys know how it is okay so i'm about to taste test the pasta i'm not gonna lie it doesn't look very appealing and it doesn't smell fantastic either but it's actually not bad but i'm not sure if it's just the parmesan that's saving it it's definitely not the worst meal i've ever eaten i'm gonna try the garlic bread now that's delicious like i said earlier i don't think you can really fuck up garlic bread so like i don't think i've ever had bad garlic bread in my life and this is not bad all right i'm gonna keep eating and then i'll give you my final thoughts when i'm finished I literally can't eat any more than this, so I'm gonna tidy up and then I'm gonna go somewhere quieter because the boys are getting me out here. And I got food in my face. And give you my final thoughts on all the food I ate today. Okay, so my final thoughts for the day is I'm pleasantly surprised by everything. I didn't think I was gonna like 
dinner especially because I'm pretty fussy and I thought it would be like too plain but it wasn't that bad the parmesan definitely saved it though like <laughs> Definitely saved it, but let me start from the beginning of the day and work forward. So the spaghetti on toast was fine. I'm pretty sure whenever I buy spaghetti, I buy the cheapest one anyway, so that was nothing different. The bread was like, definitely would not eat it as a sandwich, but yeah. Good toasted, not the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. Um, the yogurt pouch I had for morning tea was really nice. I like banana yogurt. Sorry if you can hear talking or yelling in the background, the boys are playing PlayStation together, so... They're in rooms next to each other and have headsets on, but they still feel the need to yell. So there's that. For lunch, I had the meat pie, which I actually loved the meat pie. It was so good for 75 cents. Like I literally have no complaints. It was delicious. It was a good ass meat pie. Um, I loved the wafer biscuits. I've actually been eating them all afternoon. There's like only a quarter of the packet left. So, and then for dinner, that was probably my least favorite meal, but that's just because I'm used to making like a pretty big, decent dinner and it was pretty simple, but it was definitely not bad. Um, Luke's currently eating it now and he said it's not the best thing he's ever eaten, but it's not the worst. Um, and yeah, like I said, the Parmesan definitely saved it. If I didn't buy the parmesan for it I don't think I could have eaten it it's pretty plain but yeah overall everything was pretty good I'm pretty pleased with everything for the price like for ten dollars for the whole day I really can't complain I was full all day like I didn't get hungry at all the only downside I guess to eating like a cheap cheap diet like that is that it's not really the healthiest but if that's all you can afford then that's all you can afford so it was yeah it was fine everything was fine I'm pleasantly surprised by how my day of eating went so yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try and upload more regularly. I know I've been absolutely shit for the last couple of months, but yeah, I'm really trying to get back into it because I do like YouTube. It's just a lot of effort. If you do YouTube, you know how much effort actually goes into like filming, editing, uploading, all that jazz. And sometimes I just don't have the time, but I do like doing it. So I'm going to keep trying to do it as often as I can. I'm off to Bali in less than a week so make sure you subscribe for those vlogs. I'm really excited to film them. I love filming when I'm traveling and stuff like that. It just feels so much more interesting than vlogging around the house and stuff like that. And yeah that's everything. Make sure to turn on post notifications so that you never miss a post and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.